YouTube! Welcome back to another episode of Sugar Honey IT, where we review consumer technology, everyday consumer technology. Before we get started, I just want to say, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, click the subscription link and turn on post notifications so you can, you know, be alerted whenever I post a new video. Um, and also today, if you do like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I want to see if I can get, you know, at least a thousand likes on this video, you know, uh, but you know, it depends on you guys, if you guys like it or not, but, and, and also that would give me an idea on what type of videos you guys like so I can, you know, review those products. Today, what we're reviewing is some RK wireless Bluetooth headphones. Headphones. These are the EPB40 model. These are not true wireless Bluetooth headphones, of course, because, you know, they have the new no wire Bluetooth head headphones that are just the in-air buds, no wires at all. But these are wireless in the sense that they don't connect to your phone. As a matter of fact, there's absolutely no way of connecting these to a phone or a computer or anything else for that matter. It has to be connected via Bluetooth. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on this. And like I said, uh, let me know how you feel in the comments about these. And I'll tell you why you should get them. All right, now these headphones are not the best headphones that you would find on the market. But for 25 bucks on Amazon, I think it's something to be considered. You know, you can get the, you know, the more expensive and the better quality Beats in air buds that cost you about 130 bucks roughly on the internet. Or you can get the Jaybird X earbuds that cost you around the same price. You know, but these ones, $25, they're pretty good. And they were water resistant also. So um, the, thing, the thing that I like about these headphones are they're you know, very, very comfortable to wear. They have the little wings that you know, snap into your ears and make it very difficult, especially when you're working out and when you're you know, on the go, it doesn't get out of your air, come out of your air while you're walking. And then also the main thing is it's wireless. Now this does have Bluetooth 4.1, so that makes it very easy to pair with your uh, devices and it's very quick also and the I'm gonna go through a couple of the you know the features of this um, head these headphones so that you can you know see why I chose these ones outside of the price because the price is <laughs> was a major factor um, I try not to spend too much money on uh, headphones that I go to the gym with or everyday headphones because you know they get sometimes you might lose them or you might you know just scuff them uh, scratch them up mess them up these are some good everyday headphones that you could just, you know, just wear them fairlessly. You don't have to worry about losing them. It's only 25 bucks. And it's pretty good quality too. Pretty good audio quality. So let me take you through a step-by-step -step on some of the features of these, these headphones so that you can have an idea. All right, so like I said, this comes with Bluetooth 4.1. And Bluetooth 4.1 allows you to pair with multiple devices. So this headphone can simultaneously pair with two phones. Um, the way I use it is I have it <coughs> paired with my laptop and my phone. So, you know, if I get a phone call, I can answer it on this. But then also there are times where I'm doing something on my laptop and I want to switch over the audio to the laptop at the same time, especially if I'm in a public location, you don't have to repair, resync the um, headphone connection between the laptop and the, and the headphones. It automatically switches over um, if you have two phones, most of you guys do now have two phones. <laughs> so you all gangster like that. Um, if you have two phones, you can actually pair this with both phones and just with a simple press and hold of one of the buttons, it can switch the audio from one phone to the other. Um, and you know, it's, it's convenient features like that would make this, um, these headphones a really good um, player on the market right now. All right, so on the headphone itself, it has a, three buttons, um, the volume up button, the volume down button, and the middle button is what they call a multi-function button. So this multi-function button, what it does is you can accept, reject uh, calls. You can switch between devices with this, with a two second press. Now what comes along in the box? What you get out of the box is you get a carrying case, you get some extra earbuds, you know, for different sizes. There are three sizes in there, so small, medium, large. 
and then you get the extra wings. Same thing, small, medium, and large. Now the medium fit me pretty well, and um, it may fit most of you well, but for those of you with bigger heads, you may want to just change them out to the bigger wings, and these wings just snap off. It's pretty easy to snap off, and you can just snap them back on. They kind of like slip on, slip off. Also along with that, uh, you get a USB charging cable. Um, this connects up to your computer, um, and this does take a micro USB cord, so you can use any micro USB cord that you have lying around. Uh, the downside about this cord is that it's not USB-C, and you know, micro USB is kind of phasing out right now. Most phones that come around now has the USB-C, so that could be a, a deal breaker, um, but uh, it does uh, it does make you have to carry an extra cord around because um, if you're using a Samsung Galaxy S8 or S9 or any modern phone now would probably have a USB-C and I kind of like the idea of being able to charge my headphones and my phone with the same cable. This will give you about eight hours of playing time on a full charge. I've been using it um, on and off and I usually have to charge every few days. But yeah, straight playing time, it should give you about eight hours. All right guys, yeah, so there you have it. Um, the pros for this device, there are lists, I listed a, a bunch of them. Uh, but the, the only con that I have on this device, I would say is, especially for the price, is that it has a USB, micro USB charging port. I carry around a USB phone, a USB-C phone, and you know, it's just a pain having to take around it a micro USB cable also just to charge it. Um, other than that, I think for 25 bucks, it is an amazing buy and you guys should try it out. Let me know if this video has been informative for you and I thank you for viewing. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down, it's fine. At least I have an idea of what you guys feel. Drop me a comment down in the comment section and tell me which one is your favorite low budget headphones that you guys are using. Um, I think these ones now are my favorite low budget headphones. So yeah, drop me a comment, let me know. And see you next time. Peace.